prehistoric Indians used minerals in a wide variety of ways. The peculiar properties of each mineral were adapted for a specific need. Man's understanding of the mineral wealth around him governed his technology. Anthropologists thus divide the history of man into a stone age, during which implements were made of stone. A bronze age, during which materials were made from an alloy of copper and tin. And an iron age, after man had discovered and learned to smelt iron minerals. The clay that's being thrown to make this pot is an aggregate of ultra-fine grain minerals. When mixed with water, it is soft and pliable, ready to accept the craftsman's intuitive hands. When fired at high temperature, its physical properties change. It becomes very hard and serves well to contain liquids of all kinds. And when the craftsman turns his skill to glazing his creation, he is again using mineral products. Like the ancient Egyptians, this man knows the mineral products of his glazes add strength, bonding veneer and beauty to the final product. Greens and blues and reds from copper, cobalt and iron. Long, delicate, natural asbestos fiber, a mineral unaffected by fire, non-conducting and chemically resistant. A set of physical properties so in demand that its mining has long been an important industry. The asbestos ore is blasted loose at this open pit mine. Several crushing and drying stages free the asbestos from the rock. The pure asbestos fibers are used in a wide range of manufactured products. Physical properties of minerals are also useful in that they afford a means of identifying them readily and simply by the use of only a few inexpensive tools. Most minerals have a unique set of physical properties. Here, two yellow minerals. At first glance, they look very much alike. Yellow, soft and not heavy, but sulfur is dull and orpiment is pearly. They differ in luster the way in which they reflect light. Two hard, black, glassy minerals, hornblende and tourmaline. One has cleavage, the other doesn't. Beryl and apatite. Beryl, or emerald, is hard, while the apatite, used in fertilizer, is soft. These two minerals are very much alike. However, magnetite is magnetic and not radioactive, and uraninite is not magnetic, but highly radioactive. But the physical properties of minerals are not always constant. Sometimes they can vary and fool us. Color is an example. All quartz, for instance, isn't white, but it is always hard and glassy. Calcite white, pink, green, and amber, but always greasy. Halite, white, orange, pink, and blue, always salty. If a mineral cannot be identified by a simple examination of its physical properties, then more sophisticated means must be used. Under high power magnification, a mineral's optical characteristics may be determined the way in which light passes through it, 
X-ray will identify its crystalline structure, and in the laboratory, its chemistry may be analyzed. Gemstones are not special minerals, but rather unusual specimens of what are often ordinary, common minerals. The diamond cutter must obtain the most perfect stone possible and remove any portion containing flaws. If the cutter has carefully chosen his cleaving planes, the diamond will split easily along them. If there is an unusual specimen, if a lifetime has been spent apprenticing for the cutter's craft, if the flaws are removed, if nothing goes wrong in nature or in man, if the diamond can then be faceted and polished. The diamond as a gemstone. The object is to cut facets onto the stone that capture the maximum light and refract and reflect it back with optimum brilliance. Each facet is polished onto its surface with painstaking progression. A mixture of diamond dust and oil on a revolving wheel bites into the stone for this exacting and delicate stage of the process. The angles at which the facets are put on the stone are critical. Each must be identical for symmetry. Each must meet exactly with its neighbor. Checking for size. Checking for angle. Adjusting. Each facet must be perfect. The polisher contributes a concentrated effort, a craftsman's care and concern. Nature contributes a mineral. Together, they contribute a brilliant gemstone. Minerals are a resource of the earth. With a particular atomic structure and specific chemical composition, their physical and chemical properties have been used by man since his beginning. Without his vast knowledge and wide application of the planet's minerals, his very civilization could not exist. <laughs>